and we're back again with an update on the earthquake in the South Sandwich Islands. A very large earthquake there today. Um, and before we have a look at that, uh, we'll have a very short prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for keeping our communications open that uh, we can still reach everyone. We know these are uh, difficult times and that uh, many attacks are being made on electronics and other, um, other freedoms, including freedom of speech. And so we thank you that uh, we still have this time. Jesus, please shepherd us so that we, uh, we are led to truth. And Holy Spirit, give us the gifts of discernment we ask. In Jesus' name, amen. And so we've had a continued significant amount of activity. And this is what we're looking at right now. Um, we, this is the location of the, oh, sorry, right here, um, location of what uh, I've already assessed as an 8.9 earthquake, 8.9. And many of these aftershocks that are claimed to be sixes, um, this was uh, initial. This was uh, assessed by the agencies as being a 7.5, and they're calling a lot of these uh, sixes 6.1 aftershocks. Um, you can see, first of all, that all along this plate boundary, it's all shifting. So this whole plate section is currently shifting. Um, we can expect that with this. Some of these volcan volcanoes um, stand good risk of uh, reactivation. So that we may be in the coming weeks seeing some activation in these volcanoes. Um, this is uh, subduction activity. And uh, that's, that's, these volcanoes are built on the process of subduction or by the process of subduction. So it makes sense that if the um, activity is underway that uh, this will feed um, feed new crust deep underneath the uh, volcanoes and in the space of a couple of weeks uh, three weeks four weeks um, that crust should be uh, melted and coming up through from uh, from quite deep underneath that takes some time to uh, melt out and to come up through and uh, we'll see we'll all be watching uh, to see what happens in these volcanoes. Very significant activity. We've now had, uh, I think, 18 more earthquakes. And what we're looking at is these are large enough that, in, that it's blacking out uh, the seismograms all the way up in Adak, Alaska. We'll have a look at just how large the activity looks from um, our closest site, which is Tristan de Kuna on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And so here is the current look at Tristan de Kuna. You can't really uh, identify exactly what's going on, except that it's very large activity. Now, this was uh, nowhere near the 9.2, 3, 4, and 5 activity that we've seen in that. Here we are um, in an overwrite situation where the uh, seismogram has continued to move through, and we still have white on the screen. With the largest ones, we could hardly see a sliver of white. So um, this is not in that largest earthquake category of what we've been seeing since December. But it is very large. Let's have a look at ADAC, Alaska. And with this, we do have some overwriting. You can see the black lines. Um, so we've got uh, earthquakes on top of earthquakes. But consider how large must these earthquakes be to be showing this large um, that far away? That's, that's something like 10,000 miles away. And the waveforms are off, off the charts, off the top of the screens. Um, that means that these are high sevens to low eight earthquakes. The ones that are making it off the screens off the top of the screens are sudden, hard jolts that are continuing. And that's why the screen continues to be blacked out. It's not that this is one long, long, long earthquake. It's that it's a series event, and we're seeing those events 
on the uh, earthquake mapping. This is a USGS map, and the whole ridge is shifting. Well, if the whole ridge is shifting, is it going to be small earthquakes? I mean, this was uh, this was 8.9, maybe even 9.0, but I think it was 8.9. It was certainly larger than the 8.7 we had yesterday that gave us um, that gave us 10 hours of total duration, proving it was an 8.7. This is larger. We've shown you the waveforms for each, and uh, just look at this stack of earthquakes that we've got down here in red. All of the red ones and the brown ones are today's earthquakes. And this brown one was the original one. Um, these ones in red are all in the last hour. Red earthquakes are one hour on this uh, feed system. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in just the last hour. So they're really piling up along here. There's a lot of movement. And with this late shifting like this, they are not very likely to be in the five range. These are very likely to be in the eight range. And that's what we're seeing, low or high sevens, um, perhaps into low eights for the waveform generated by the continued earthquakes to be large enough to be off the screen still in Alaska. So that's our defining um, we, can't, we can't make a measurement of just how large each earthquake is, but they're making them off the screen. That makes them high sevens to low eights. Um, so those are, our, are the truth in what we're having in aftershocks. It's a, it's a big move down there. Um, fortunately, there's very few people in that area. Um, we're going to uh, also have a look at tsunami warning buoys. Um, I haven't gotten there yet. Um, but uh, if, we, uh, if we see anything and, um, with uh, tsunami warnings, we'll come back on and, uh, and we'll let you know. We're doing uh, just short updates. Everybody's time is valuable, and you can pop in and out and uh, just get updated. It doesn't take long to do a bit like this, a video like this, and, and get it posted up. So We'll be back later if there's anything significant. Um, Thank you for joining us on uh, Feed My Sheep, Earthquake Reports, and more. And uh, a short blessing, we ask that all of our audience have the peace that passes understanding, recognizing that God has his hand over all of us. All of his children have our promised protection. And be aware, um, and in Jesus' name I pray that, and be aware that... Um, in the Amanda Grace prophecy, there was multiple times, and this was uh, this was back on the seventh of um, of July. Um, there was multiple times when uh, when God was saying through her, "Be thou holy, for I am holy," or "Be holy, because I am holy." Um, draw close to me, my children. And the intent is that God wants to protect us, but unless we are diligent to seek truth, unless we stay in the Word of God and stay close to God, how can he protect us? If, we're, if we keep ourselves at a distance from God, we, sep we create separation. God doesn't want us to be separate from him, from him. He wants, and he said in this prophecy, I want a very close relationship with you. So this is our, our best protection in these times. And we're not to be fearful. Um, we have uh, the greatest, the creator of all things standing for us. And what better protection could he have? So if you, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this program. And please uh, share it with others if, if you think they would like it as well. And uh, give us a thumbs up on your way out. And we'll see you next time on Feed My Sheep, Earthquake Reports, and more. Bye for now.